Today is a good morning. It is the manana. I think it is. Anyway, it is the morning time. It is currently 10 o'clock a.m. CT, I had to think. Anyway, how are you doing today, Dab? Welcome in. Welcome in. How is your morning? How was your morning like today? Hopefully it was good. You're tired. Uh, me. I'm tired, but not tired because I went to bed at a decent time. 1 a.m. One, because I was cooking food up until like 11 something. And then I sat on my couch and watched something on. I don't know what I was watching last night, but I was watching something. Um, then I, and I was like, I should probably go to bed. You were up like playing Fortnite with a friend. Uh, that's what it'll do. That's what it'll do. Fortnite. It keeps you busy, honestly. Keeps you busy. I've just been cooking, trying to get much rest. Because let me tell you, the other day, I didn't go to bed until like 3 a.m. I sat up there and, and watched so many videos. Uh, I took a break from socials. To, uh, glad to be back seeing the streams. Yeah, I'm glad that you're back. How are you feeling? Hopefully you're doing good today. Hope you're ready for a new game. Because today we are playing Old Man's Journey. And you know, I didn't realize until... I bought the game that this game came out in 2017. Tell me why I thought this game came out last year. No, it came out in 2017 and I'm like, okay, well, now that I know playing an old game for an old man's journey <laughs> makes perfect sense, but it's fine. But I'm glad you're back though. Uh, I'm only up because my quarterly pest guy was three hours early. They really be showing up and saying, I'm here. I'm ready to, you know, spray your place for pests, you know. They're like, what? <laughs> it's crazy. Like, knock, knock. Like, who are you? I'm the pest guy. Like, you're three hours early. Why are you here? You know? <laughs> it's almost Christmas. It feels so weird. I can't believe it's almost Christmas. Literally almost Christmas. It feels nice. Literally feels nice. You got any exciting plans for Christmas that you want to share? Mm -hmm. Any good things you want to share with the class today? I don't have much going on for Christmas, basically. I'm just spending time with my family. We're going to be at my place to or on, on Christmas watching The Matrix. And I can think of another movie, but mainly The Matrix in Up a Storm. Hey, Santa Fe, thank you for the host. And Daft Daft, welcome in. <laughs> I hope your day is going pretty well. 7 a.m. Instead of, instead of 10 a.m. though, I wanted to cry. 7 a.m., ooh. I don't like that. I don't like waking up early. I, I'm, I'm not that type of person. It's like, why are you, why are you here at my door at 7 o'clock in the morning? The, the birds are not chirping. The birds are not even here. The sun's not even up, so why are you here? That's what I would say. I'm like, why are you even here? The birds are not chirping. The birds are not here. Come back three hours and, and I'll be ready. I'll be present. Uh, let me tell you, life these days, I guess because it's also like the Chris, it's, the, it's Christmas or like it's going to be Christmas and people wanted to get it out the way. But you think they will call you saying, coming early. It's like, oh, okay, cool. We ready. Uh, stuck in a foreign country for the for the last three years celebrating Christmas alone. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hey, I'm here until Christmas Eve, so you can always spend your Christmas with me and on the stream if you would like to. We're here. Um, and Pine, hey, how are you doing today? I hope your day is going good. Well, that's a cool email, by the way. That's nice. Hey, welcome in. And happy birthday, Savvy. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hey. I totally forgot you were streaming early today. 
interesting. Hmm. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, it's totally fine. Totally fine. But happy birthday, Debbie. I hope your birthday's going great today. So if you don't know what we're going to be doing today, we're playing a game called Old Man's Journey. It's a game that I haven't played ever in my entire life. One, because I didn't, I didn't know about this game until like recently after we finished, I think, some game we played and we were looking at games on my Steam library that I wanted to play. And I'm like, oh, I found this one. <laughs> but yeah, we are playing Old Man's Journey. It's supposed to be a short game, but we'll see. We'll see how long this goes. <laughs> and you're welcome. It's been good. Very good. Very good. So this game is available everywhere, basically. It's on Steam. It's on the Switch, PS4, Xbox, Apple phone, or the App Store, or the Android Store. But the thing is, the prices vary on multiple platforms. I know on the Switch, it's like $4.99 right now. I think on Xbox and PS4, it's also on sale, I believe. And then on the it's 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 everywhere, prices wise. But I know that when I bought it on Steam, it was seven dollars, and that wasn't on sale. So Steam is like eight dollars. It varies on multiple platforms depending on what you want to get it on. You want to spend the birthday morning with y'all? Oh, thank you, and Vishy, welcome in. Uh, I kind of, we kind of new here, but a delight to meet you all. It's a delight to meet you too. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well. Well, this fine evening or not evening. Well, it might be the evening for some people. Morning or evening. The art is very cute. I wanted to show you the trailer before we kind of hopped into the game, just in case you are curious and everything about it. Um, that is not it. But it is Twitter. It always goes on my wrong on the wrong tab, which is so annoying. Uh, okay. But yeah, it's available on the phone, Android, Steam, PS4, Xbox One, and the Switch. But it varies. The price wise varies. Indeed. Hey Tia, welcome in. How are you doing today? I'm doing really well. For asking, I've been chilling. My coloring book is not out yet. It's still in the works, still in the works. I'm hoping to like get it out by next year on my birthday, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, but I have coloring pages you can download though. You can either purchase the new ones I put out for the holidays or kind of get the free ones that I put out um, a few months ago. Oh, I'm glad you're doing well. It's 3 a.m. for you, got home from work an hour ago. So looking forward to settling down in the evening. Very good. Awesome, awesome sauce. Okay, let me show you the trailer. Oops, nope, not like that. Not like that either. Go to YouTube. <laughs> Let's just go to YouTube, it's easier. And there's an ad about losing weight by dance. Why? Why? Okay, keep it going. Thank you. Ads. Ads are weird. Oh, you, well, you just bought it? Oh, nice. We love buying things, don't we? Okay, let me just show you the trailer. I'm gonna turn off my webcam so you can see the whole thing, you know, um, to the full value. Okay, show you, here we go. Hi, Taylor. And there you have it, besties. 
That is Old Man's Journey. That was the trailer. But also, Taylor, welcome and how are you doing today? I hope your day's um but yeah it's a basically it's available everywhere the prices vary based on what platform you're trying to get it on some platforms have it on sale some don't it all depends but yeah it's a very cute game it came out in 2017 little did i know that this game came out last year i was wrong <laughs> but let me uh but it's a very cute art style. It is. It is indeed. Start it best. So cute. And the good thing about this, there's like no like talking dialogue. I would think there is no talking dialogue, but it seems very chill. Um, it's been 84 years. It really has been 84 years. How have you been? What you been doing these days? Huh? Ev, hi. Welcome in. Welcome in. It's been forever. I'm probably gonna buy your Christmas pages for my niece because I bought her to a Toy Story set. Ooh, I hope she likes it. I really had a lot of fun making those, especially the one with like the cat and the mittens stuff on it. That was really fun. Hey, Ebony, how are you doing? I hope your day is going pretty well. Long time no see. You've been busy, I see. Oh, this is really cool. Not me trying to make something like this IRL and procreate. Uh, Jason, welcome in. How are you? Welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well. We are playing a cute, lovely game called Old Man's Journey. Chilling out, hanging out. A nice, like, puzzle, point and click type of game. You're on a story, you're, you're basically on a journey to find love and loss, basically. It came out in 2017, my first time actually playing this game. And I've been enjoying it. It literally says a story about life, about life's precious moments, broken dreams, and changed plans. Interesting. But it's available everywhere on pretty much every single platform you can think of. You've been busy with college and work. I've been so tired and time zones suck, so I'm gonna be able to catch up. All good, all good, totally understand. Time zones are very, uh, not so great, I would say. Oh, I said your name right? Oh, good. <laughs> Cause I was like, I was gonna say something else and like, but that's not it. Like Jason Simone, I've been having a good morning. Oh, that's good. You have a random fever, but I'm watching you still be all right. Oh, that's good. I hope the fever goes away. Fevers are not good. This is cool. Kind of fancy. Taking a lot of screenshots. <gasps> Ooh. Is this like an, <gasps> it's an old memory. Oh, okay. At the beginning of the game, I, f I believe he got a letter about somebody passing, I feel like. And he saw those like the couple at the top remembering something he had way before. I'm already gonna cry. We already played Spirit Fair. I'm not gonna cry again. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're welcome. It's always have. It's always fun to have new, new friends. And you know, if it's your first time here, just know this is always a safe place for you to hang out with us. We uplift, we encourage, we hype people up all the time. Oh, oh, wait, that's so cool. I've gotten fevers, I get fevers any time. Uh, I'm stressed out. I wrote, it's like we broke, <laughs> we broke and then, but just enough for the doctor to only, the doctor to only, yeah, yeah, I get headaches 
and like fevers when I'm stressed too. Usually I just cry and then it's over. That's usually how I cure my my fevers. I'll just cry and then I'll be fine. In a Philly heart, welcome in. Good morning. Hello, hello. And Fishy, thank you for the tier one sub. I really appreciate it so, so much. Also, I think we might need to change the safe command. So it's all one command. We might need to face out something. There's some one is just like there, but it's fine. Um, but Fishy, thank you for the tier one sub. I hope you enjoy all the emotes here. Uh, and yeah, today is Savvy's birthday. It is um, my mod, Softy Savvy's birthday in the chat. Let me get some happy birthdays, please. Thank you. I feel like an old man on a journey every day. The true statement. Sounds good. Yeah, it's like, oh, we should probably change it. <laughs> so it's like not as long, but it's long, but you know. So cute. I can click on the door. It's a child. Oh my gosh. Hello? Can I go this way? Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, child. We all are. We're all basically old on a journey. I want to go. No. I'll go up the, the stairs. Get our steps in, you know. I got my Fitbit on, taking some steps. Can we pet the cat? I wonder. I would love to know myself. I would love to know myself. We have the option. Is this another memory? Can I pet you? Oh my gosh. Wait, we're sitting. Oh, the cat moves. I just clicked on the cat and it moved away. I didn't mean. What? This cat's on the. Can't see, but the cat's on the roof. Lordy Lou. Down this hill. Go down here. It's a kitty. You can't see it. But the cat's abandoned. Oh, you can kind of see it. The little head right. Oh, we can literally get. Oh my. You. Are you kidding me? Really? Wait a minute. Oh, I get it now. I can move. I can move up the hill. Also so great. Okay, I can't drag it while he's there. We'll have to go back up here. We'll have to get the kitty. Okay, there we go. Now we're going somewhere. The cat abandoned us. I'm sad. No, no, no. Go on. Go on the go on the roof. There we go. Go on the roof. Wait. I want to see if move move my webcams are different. That's the webcam. That. Well, not like that. This and that. I have two. I didn't know I had two things behind my own webcam. Okay. <laughs> and a polka welcome in. Good morning or early good morning to you. How are you doing today? Day's going pretty well. Uh, you're up because I'm catching the train at five. Oh. Five. Knock the cat, and the cat goes away. Why am I being abandoned? Anyone got an H H P? Wait, what is that? Is that a computer? An H P laptop? Knock knock. Oh wait. Go up here. And I get up there, but I want to knock on the door. I guess not. Okay. Moving on. 
Oh. Oh, Animal Crossing, uh, yes. What are your questions? What do you need to know? Because I have Happy Home Paradise, I really do. It takes 30 jobs to start decorating your own villagers' homes, by the way. 30 jobs to decorate your own villager homes. So it's gonna be a bit of a time. Oh, it's great. I en I haven't played it in a, in a while, but I enjoy it so much. I enjoy the aspect of like decorating vacation homes and giving my own villagers vacation homes. I even have the ability to like have like partition walls or have ambiance sounds, build a school, restaurant, cafe, hospital. But then having the opportunity later in the game to eventually at one point decorate my own villagers homes makes me very happy. So I think it's worth it in my humble opinion, because I enjoyed playing a... Uh... Ma'am? Can I help you? Kind of rude. Um, but it has like a similar vibe when I played um, Dream Home Decorator for The Sims. So I enjoyed that. So it has him, you know. Oh, you're good now. You're caffeinated, very good. I have to take my son to Sydney Airport at nine. Oof. Good luck on everything. Good luck. I have to go back here. I think I need to push this up. You got, you got it two weeks ago, and I'm at this point to do the school now. Ooh, exciting. We love a good school moment, don't we? I wonder if I do this. Go inside. Wait. Get up. Go inside. No. Oh, I was like, wait, where do I go? Okay, they'll go up here. You want to get it, but I need to know if it's worth it. I mean, if you like the idea of like putting down items in vacation homes, I say it's worth it. It does take time to earn Pokey, which is tech or Pokey, which is technically the currency with Happy Home Paradise. So it does take a while to get certain things in the game. Like if you want partition walls, you got to do a certain amount of jobs. If you wanted um, like ambiance or to like start doing the school, that takes time. So it's a bit grindy, but I think it's like worth it for me. The, the cat just keeps leaving us. What did I do? I believe we're playing Animal Crossing at some point on stream. I wait, are we playing Animal Crossing this week? We are not. We're playing Animal Crossing next week. Never mind. Um, I mean, I think it is, though. You get some cute items. Yeah. Oh, the other true benefit about the game is that you know how you have to craft items in Animal Crossing originally on your own island? Well, when you do vacation homes, the items already are already there. So you don't have to craft anything. It's all there for you to just put down, do whatever you want. Um, when you start to figure out who you want to build a vacation home for, um, these villages have like these like little pop-ups above their head saying, I want like, you know, a dream, dream vacation home with like a bunch of bears or whatever. And then like, you'll go and like talk to them to the client asking like, oh, you want this and that. And they'll show you like, what required items you need to put into that vacation home and once you pick a location on the map um the items will already be shipped there for you to put down into the vacation home so less work but more fun so it's a bit grindy but it's worth it and mooney welcome in how are you doing today i hope your day's going pretty well uh, it looks fun, but I wanted people's opinion. I like, I think the grinding aspect will make me want to play Animal Crossing more. Yeah, I like, I like it because I'm working really hard to start decorating my own villagers' homes. Like 30 jobs is a lot, but it's so fun to see like how much you can do with the DLC. With the amount of content you get out of it, it's worth it. Worth the price. Yeah, it's 100% worth it. This says Dila... Be real, be ill, be love, be real. Is that an actual place? 
I want to know now. I need to know. Hold up, Google. The lo the lo that is a that's an E. Oh, I was right. The lo the ill. Multicultural. Oh, it means of the day before. Oh, that's nice. We're learning new things today. Oh, it's a dog. Hi. I shall name you Pietro. He looked at us. He looked at us. Oh my gosh. Picture. Oh. Hello. Oh. Is this a new memory? Hey, the 13, 13th hour, welcome in. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's French. You know, I do be learning French today. I love that for us. So cute. Oh, this is so adorable. I love it. So we're playing a game called Old Man Sterney. It's a very nice, chill, cutesy type game. Where you're basically on a journey about, you know, love, lost, and changed plans. These memories are so beautiful. This game was made back in 2017 and people are so talented at what they do where they make a game come to life through art. It reminds me of Spirit Fair and I, I love it. I'm here for all of your French translation needs. Uwu, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Ooh. Our cell is really neat. It really is. Not me wanting trying to build this hotel in The Sims. I kind of want to build this hotel in The Sims. I feel like it's it's worth it, personally. We just need hotels actually in the game. But I can use my imagination. So the other cool thing about this is that since you're on a journey, you have to basically move these mountains to get to the to the other side. I like this idea of having to like move these mountains to move wherever I want to get to, to a certain place. Oh, he's like, I'm not jumping. Like, I will not jump. Cannot make me. Okay. Can only move it that far. Don't tell me he's gonna. Do not tell me he's going to literally jump from here to there. That would be crazy. It's very creative. It makes it very interactive, which is what I love. Oh, never mind. It's like, oh, please tell me he was not going to jump. We just moved down this mountain or this bridge. Lift thing. Oh, it just moved up like that. I like the lines too. It shows, it tells you like, oh, you move it up this way. You have the opportunity to go down all the way to where you need to go. It's simple, clean, I almost said modern, but it's like, it's just simple, but cute and just so good. But yeah, if you want to get this game, it's available basically everywhere. It's very cheap based on what platform you get it on. Like the most that you'll be spending is like $10, but on various platforms, it's like $5, I think, on one platform, but I forget which one. The music is very nice, yes. This mountain up here. And you know what's even funnier? I've realized that my art style, like I draw a lot in Procreate and Photoshop. My art style is like this, which is very interesting. Yes, it is on Steam for $8. That's where I bought mine. I bought it on Steam on my wish list and it was $8. He, you saying he can walk on the roof? Excuse me? You would not catch me walking on no roof. Mm -mm. It is indeed. They say that this game, when I look up how long this game is, on how, how long to basically beat the game, people said it took like two and a half hours. The longest was like three, three hours. 
So I was like, hmm. I won't move. I'm shaping the earth. Oh, no, it's fine. I, I understand your frustration. <laughs> when the villagers don't want to move, when you're trying to terraform, it's like, I will trap you if you don't move. Watch me. <laughs> I think I found out what I'm doing tonight. Ooh, woo, very good. Ooh, is this a new memory? I hope it is. But I don't know what they're playing. What are they playing? They must be playing cards. This could have been him at his, his younger age. You know what I just thought? When playing this game like just now for like the past 30 minutes or so, a part of me feels like that we're going through all of his old memories of his past life of him going on a journey. Either this young guy is him or this old man is him, but this, the young guy has to be him. I feel like, I don't know. Tonight's gonna be an interesting night. Oh, there's a question mark. Click, click, click. No, no. The question mark? What do you mean I can't get there? Oh, now I can. I was like, I can't move. Oh, he's coming tonight. Oh, exciting. Olive Garden. You know, when I went to Olive Garden, their breadsticks are still great, but it's so limiting. I... Sir, are you okay? I was like, T you're telling me I can move the water? I can move the water? Oh, I can't. <laughs> it's just my finger. Well, that's good. Hopefully you get enough breadsticks because Lordy Lou, when I only, ha I went to Olive Garden one time and I only got like four, no, four, like five or four, four or five breadsticks. They refilled it, of course, but they changed it now. You have to ask for like unlimited, which is crazy. I don't think he's all right, but I love me some Olive Garden. It's so good. You did? You called him five times and answered the last. Are you kidding? This is why I don't go to DoorDash. This is why I don't do it. Why I don't do it. Oh, wait. I was like, you tell, you can. Do you want to go on this right here, old man? He fell. Oh. I've never ordered from DoorDash before because I've, I've just known. That's interesting. It's like my house is right there in plain sight. You didn't see it. Oh, uh, you'll be lurking for a bit. Yeah, yeah, lurk away. Do what you gotta do. Totally understand, enjoy the vibes. You don't have Olive Garden there? That's kind of illegal. I feel like in my humble opinion, that should be, that sounds like a hate crime. <laughs> that should be available everywhere. Every single human on earth and in space should have Olive Garden. Honestly, Olive Garden is just a rite of passage for a human. You gotta try the breadsticks. It's just so tasty. Oh, we can't go down here because it's broken. Oh no. So, what you're telling me. We go over here. Cannot, so we have to go back up here. Badly. I remember when I went to, yes, we always stopped at Olive Garden. <laughs> Very good. The pasta is great. Love me get some good spaghetti and meatballs or just meat sauce. But you, nothing can beat those breadsticks, honestly. Or you can, you tell me you're just gonna walk onto the water? Sir. Oh, you're going this way. You're gonna hurt yourself this way. Like grub have better. You look at my notes saying what color car to look for. Oh, that's nice. 
I had an experience with Uber Eats. They were pretty nice. They didn't want to deliver to my, my door. Because when I lived on campus at my university, they didn't want to deliver to my door. I'm like, why? Granted, it was like 26 degrees outside, which I understand. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> uh, Ash, welcome in. Good morning or evening. How are you doing? Welcome in. Walking in water like Jesus. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. <laughs> this must be another memory. I would assume so. Oh. We're doing things. It's even for you in the UK. Nice, nice. We're playing a nice cozy game today called Old Man's Journey. About loss and change of plans. I've, from what I've noticed so far is that we're looking at all of his old memories, I feel like. And it's really nice to see like all this like art cell come to life. Nice. And I'm glad you're doing all right. Apparently I can interact with the chain, but I want to move it. Old man won't do right. Oh. Okay, now I see. Oh. One. Do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. Uber Eats never gets it right in my area, but does in big cities. That's just weird. Oh, am I doing it right? I'm doing it? Wait. Oh, click the button. Click it again. 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 I'm stuck. Old man, why won't you do? Unless I'm supposed to be doing. Uber Eats. It's always been all right where I live, although sometimes they struggle to find the address. It's mainly just finding the address is what they struggle with mainly for me. But Uber Eats, I don't go to Uber Eats anymore. I don't use it. Either. What? The point and click type of game. Click this button again. Look, click, look, click. Anything, anything? This game, I'm stuck. I know it's supposed to be the boat that we're supposed to look at. I forget what else I have to click on. Maybe it's the other person? Maybe. Well, every time I click on the person, it goes to this thing right here, him. Pressing buttons, a sandwich. Hmm. Interesting. Not me wanting to go look up scene. How do you get past the scene? The boat scene. No idea. It's it has to be some way I have to do. It has to do with something where he's clicking the button and I'm supposed to do something with the boat. I'm not sure. Hmm. <laughs> Google to the rescue, literally. Uh, let me see. The old man's journey. Mm -hmm. If I can spell journey, that would be great. Open journey, boat scene. What do you, how do you move past? Wait, what? Oh, here it is. Where is it at? Where is it? Yep. Uh, my house doesn't have a number visible from the road. Oh, okay. That'll do it. That'll do it sometimes. And then they should call you, basically. Is 
basically at the point where I know what I need to do. Now. Wait a minute, I'm looking at a video. What? Wait, what? Are you kidding? I just have to keep moving it around. Literally keep moving it around until it moves. I think. I figured it out. Okay. Uh, you'll never guess what you're doing today? Pl streaming? Modding? Is that what you're doing? Modding? Hey, Garrett, how are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well. <laughs> modding, yes, look at that, Garrett, modding today. Love that for us. Hmm. How did they do it? Here, and in my fall addiction, mm, fallout addiction, interesting. But I'm doing really good today. Thank you for asking, Garrett. We're playing Old Man's Journey today. A very chill based game that takes time to learn. Come on, press a button. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on, you can do it. I'm trying to get this boat out the water, but the thing is. Here's, here's the thing I'm looking at. The thing I'm looking at right now, and I'm just like, what? How do they do what they do? Because if you see what they're doing, that's what I'm doing too. They sit down, as one does. Push the boat forward. alive and well oh, that's good you know being alive and well is always great okay so they press the, the book forward wrong i don't know what i'm doing wrong Button again. One, you can do it. Oh, I'm doing something. Doing something. Oh my gosh. Wait, I feel like I did something. I feel like I did something. I did something. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the water. This takes some time, I realize. Most upsetting thing about, uh, for me this year, um, probably with my partner buying me a, a rowing machine for Christmas. No, and I can't work out until next month. You put it together already, though. Oh my goodness! Oh, next next year. Got this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Level three. Boat won't rise. But I never found oh. Look on the welding guy, silly. On the welding guy, silly thumbs up the boat. The welding guy. Ah! I'm 
gonna cry. You have no... It's all part of the game. I, I, I meant to do that. I meant, I meant, I meant to think like I wasn't know what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. I, I meant, I, I totally, yeah. I totally, I totally meant that that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we did it, chat. We did it. Look at us go. Oh, look at this. He looks angry. He looks very angry. This must be him as a young lad. And then he's like, I got a vote for you, surprise. And she's like, excuse me, who do you think you are? I'm not going on no boat in the sea. We have things we gotta do. That's kind of funny. Kind of sad though. Lordy Lou must be a bad memory. And Philly Heart, thank you for the host. Welcome to the post. Oh, and then that they left. He needs a bigger rope, probably. Yeah. With all of her stuff. Yeah, yeah. Probably so. And there's supposed to be levels with this game, too. I believe that. I don't want to do that. I forget how many levels there are. But we just finished level three with this game so far. We're doing things, which is quite nice. But it's still, it's still funny that he literally climbs onto um, water thinking he can get up there. It's like, uh-uh, sir, don't even try. Don't even try. Oh, oh, I can't move up here. No, go back down here. Oh, there's little frogs. This is so pretty. Okay, there we go. So now we can go on to this side, this green mountain here, and then go up here. So, perfect. It's so pretty. So what are you doing? Well, that's a curvy mountain. Can I move this back up like more? The opportunity. What if I go back on this green mountain? Hmm. Oh, that's a toughie. That's a toughie. Because here's the thing. If we even attempt, even cross this water, we'll fall down. We'll fall down even more, even if we tried. We gotta go to the other side. Hmm. Let's go back. Go back to this green mountain here on this side. Can't see what I'm doing, sadly. Always. But then how are you supposed to get over there? Okay, I see what it is now. I see what it is. We go back on this rock, push this, uh, this red rock up, and then we move this back up here. There we go. I've done it. I've done it. Old man's really trucking. Does he have a name? Does he have a name? That's what I want to know. We can call him Filbert. Gilbert is the name. Didn't give him a name. Ooh. The developers are located in Austria. It came out on Nintendo Switch on my birthday in 2018 in Japan. But it released in 2017 on May 18th. It's literally available everywhere. Oh, I found the prices now. Okay, so if you want this game, it's $4.99 on iOS or Android, $7.99 on Windows and Mac, basically Steam, Nintendo Switch, $10, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, $10. But I forget which platform is on sale. 
at the moment. One of them has a sale. I feel like it's, is it Nintendo Switch? The Switch? Yeah, so for the Switch, it's currently on sale for $4.99. Because originally it's $10, so you're going to get yourself $5. Even Sprick brand new. <laughs> Freaking hot right now. <laughs> Philbert is his name. Old man Philbert. Philbert, you want to cross the river? Just want to jump? Take a leap of faith? Don't, e don't even try. Don't even try. Now we are stuck. What if we go move this mountain? Wait, you're telling me. We're not even we're not even going to attempt that. We're not even going to attempt that. What if I do this? What happens if he crosses that? He's just walking down the hill. It's on sale and switch, thank you. Watch him. Look at that. Who does he think he is? He can't walk on water. What do you think was gonna happen, Philbert, huh? And now we're gonna start all over. Oh my gosh, Crystal, how are you doing today? I hope your day's going pretty well. Oh. I think I see it now. There might be gaps in the water that we can't cross. That's what I'm thinking, but I could be completely wrong. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a crank. There is a crank. Get across the bridge. We got big brain today. Big brain. There was a crank. I was like, I wonder if I turn this wheel, will, will it do anything? Yeah, it will. The crank. <laughs> oh, but Crystal, welcome in. I hope your day is going pretty well. <laughs> like, let's just turn the wheel and see what it does. You know, no harm in trying, right? What if I pull it back? Oh, Billbird's moving. Doo -doo -doo. Woo! <laughs> I'm a child. Okay, anyway, let's move forward. Let's move forward. Um, but I'm doing really good today. We are playing a nice, cozy puzzle indie game called Old Man's Journey. Available everywhere at various prices. It's on the Switch for $5, by the way. <laughs> um, it's really great. We've played it. We've only been playing it for about almost an hour now, which is kind of wild to think about. It's almost been an hour. Um, but so far, so good. And new, welcome in. Hope your day is going pretty well. Let's walk on water. Slide down. There you go, sir. That took a millennium to do. Lordy Lou. Lordy Lou. We've been here for, for a whole journey. Took us forever. It is going great. This whole game is so cool. This game came out in 2017. The art style is so uh, in awe. I would live here if I could. Give me Wi-Fi, then I'm good. It's going to be good. It's going good. Just finish your first shift at McDonald's. Oh, that's exciting. Hopefully it wasn't too crazy. At the McAdee's. Oh, we can get on this boat? Really? The mountain is, the mountain is just moving and shaking. do 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 Moving the mountain like this is just kind of funny. Uh, my closed captions are weird. Really? They shouldn't be. Uh, it looks warm and pretty. Yeah, and that's what I like about games. Games that are like warm and cozy and very chill base is what I live for. Oh, we can move this boat. This is a yellow mountain, literally. Jump on the boat. Don't be shy. Jump. Wee. Woo. <laughs> I need to be stopped. 
I shouldn't have this much power. Um, was running errands back. Got back in a while ago. Forgot about the stream. All good. I shouldn't have this much power of moving back and forth. Woo! Woo! <laughs> it's too early in the morning for this. I need this to be stopped. Like, now. Or if you want to, like, move forward, that'll be really great. Now, we're just going to, like, push you all the way back and then just... Zoom! Zoom! Zoomies! Zoom, zoom? Zoom, zoom? There we go. Uh, it's not saying that you're, what you're saying. Oh. Well, you know what? I can't fix it. It is what it is at this point, you know? The sun. Ooh, move forward. Ooh! That's a nice, nice house. You know, this world kind of reminds me of, um... What's uh, the game? Sims 4 Cats and Dogs in Brindlin Bay. Sir, we don't need to... No. We don't need to go this way. You need to go the other way. Do not get off this boat. Don't even try and attempt. Don't even think about it. Move forward. Get off the boat. Thank you very much. Talk to the old man. Old man. Hey. What you eating? Catching some fish. Doing some things. <laughs> We've really been on a journey today. Goblin, thank you for the follow. Welcome to Spring Squad. Ooh, a new memory. Ooh. Bold, bold, old man. Old man. Old man's journey. Old man's journey. Old man, you want to um, talk about your life? A door opens. The lighthouse. The bell. It's like, I see in the horizon. My life, what it used to be back in 1964. Back when I was married with my wife, Hilda, we are expecting our first child. I was like, oh, wow. Wow, our first child. Hilda and I were we wed on the PR. Like, okay, sure. Oh, it's coming up, bold man journey. Yeah, if you want to turn them off, you can. <laughs> anyway, um, with child. This is a very charming game. I agree. The picture of that. What happened to his wife? Did she die? Okay, why is this giving me literally up vibes, but twisted? Because in up, they weren't pregnant. They couldn't have kids and then she died. But then also this one, she's pregnant. Shotgun wedding? Got married because she was pregnant? We need to know these things. This is nice. But yeah, Goblin, if you want to get this game, it's available basically everywhere. You can think of Switch, PS4, Xbox One, Steam, Apple Store, Android Store. Whatever you can think of, it's there. It ranges from a very various of prices, ranging from like $5 to $10 based on what platform you get it on. We're on a train. It says... 8660. Can we sit down? Oh my gosh, we're sitting. We're sitting. Sometimes the game gets to me. It really does. It really does. We're going on a trip in our favorite train ship. Zooming. Oh. Zooming through the rails. Old man's journey. Climb aboard. Ready to explore. There's so much to find. Old man's journey. Come on, get down. Old man's journey. <laughs> oh my gosh, help. I've become delirious at 11 o'clock in the morning. We're zooming. 
We be speeding. Ooh, we're going up the hill. Beautiful song. You know, that's on my album. It's called Old Man's Journey. Check it out. It's really nice. Um, it's quite lovely. Give it a listen. Highly recommend. <laughs> Is this on sale? I'm trying to buy it, but it's, but will anything work? No. Oh, wait, where are you buying it on? Switch. I have a little Einstein song going to suck in my head. Very good. Very good. I've done my job as an influencer. <laughs> Steam? Well, on Steam, it's not on sale. But it should work. Hmm. <laughs> what other songs are there? Also on Spotify. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. If it was real, that'd be nice. Oh, my lord. Oops. Bad. Hamilton or Burr. <laughs> yeah, the original price is $8. Yes. I don't know what other songs I'm going to have on my album, honestly. Um, the Little Einsteins, the original like cast members, they're on my album for the Old Man's Journey song. They're just like background singers. I'm the main event, okay? Um, they're just simply there for aesthetics. <laughs> I sing the Little Einstein song anytime my dog uh, gets back into my car. I love Little Einsteins. I used to watch it all the time. I stopped watching it last year. Uh, sounds familiar. Uh, sure, what's on the radio? Well, technically, Little Einstein's was on the radio. I think on Radio Disney, I think. Um, but I just made up that song, Old Man's Journey. If it's real, then like, oh, I didn't even know. <laughs> Not good. Hey, Peach, welcome in. How are you doing? You watch it in high school yourself. I mean, kids shows are just way better than adult shows. Let's be real here. It's more entertaining. <laughs> but Peach, welcome in. Oh, hello. We're going on our trip in our favorite rocket ship. Driving, zooming through the sky. Little Einstein Steins. Climb aboard, get ready to explore. There's so much to find, little Einsteins. Let me just do a little Einstein's watch party in Discord if you want. <laughs> That'd be really interesting, honestly. Um, I love the remix of um little Einsteins from uh was it Vine or TikTok? No, it was Vine. Someone did like a breakdance remix song of little Einsteins, and that was just absolutely amazing driving through the sky is it zooming zooming through the sky not driving that'd be wild if you were driving through the sky imagine the opportunities are there any shows you like um roly poly Oli, dojo circus the berenstein bears um <laughs> almost said hey arnold um well that too but, um, wow, wow, Webzy. Webzy, Webzy, wow, wow. Wow, wow, Webzy, 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 wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Um, Oswald. Oswald taught me how to, like, look both ways before crossing the street, by the way. Um, good for you. You look happy. It's uh anyway oh no i heard you almost say driving through the sky oh i got my driver's always talked about because you were so excited for me oh i heard that olivia rodrigo is getting sued for another song she sang brutal brutal sounds like a similar song from a different artist but the 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 original artist who they're not suing her, basically. But, like, the original artist who sang a different song but has, like, a similar vibe to Brutal said, it's fine. It's rock and roll. I'm like, Ugh. But again, let me buy it. Awesome. Good, good, good. Oh, there's people in the train. Ballad, yeah. Olivia Rodrigo. 
That could be her new single, Dr um, Driver's License, but in the clouds this time, held up above. Ooh. Um, but yeah, what are some other kids shows you'd like to watch, my friends? Any good ones? Sir, is you okay? He said, I'm out. I'm tired. Like, Harold. Harold, wake up. Wait, where is his... Okay, so he had the kid. So he has a daughter. But where's his daughter? Is he gonna go see his daughter? Will the daughter hate him? What happened to his mother? Not his mother, but what happened to his wife? Oh my gosh, now I need to know. <laughs> he can drive through the sky, but normally it's multiple times, so I'm not trying to get any. <laughs> uh. Oh, Franklin's another show I used to watch all the time. The turtle one. Oh, and another one good too is... um. Another one. The other one? It's not JoJo Circus. That's another one good one too. But um Max and Ruby. Miraculous is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you all know? Okay, if you've seen Disney Junior as a kid. Another show, Handy Manny's a really good one. I love that show, by the way. Really great. Said it got canceled, but it ended. But you know, on Disney Junior, they had like those small little like shorts in between um, shows. Um, there was this person called Choo Choo Soul. I found them through Tik. I found them again through TikTok, and I'm just like, can we get a reboot of that? Because Choo Choo Soul was the best of the best. By the way, I haven't seen that show yet i've heard about it but i've never really got to see it i gotta check it out can i move anything let me in let me through but i hear it's good though here isn't oh my it's gonna bug me it's going to bug me hold up nickelodeon nick Kids bug show. What is it called? Ah, okay. If you've seen, okay, um, it was on Nick Jr. It was called Mrs. Spider's Sunny Patch Friends. Um, by the way, I loved that show. That spider, however, was horrifyingly creepy. He looked like James Charles back in the on olden days. It was horrifying, but I loved that show. That sweater was terrifying. That gave me nightmares. The Mickey shorts were and are so good. Yes. It was made by a Korean artist. But it was set in Paris and that messes up my head. Really? Huh. Interesting. Let me copy and pasta this real quick. Google. Google is your best friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's on netflix okay then i've seen i've seen this partly but not really fully oh man yeah it is scary that spider is horrifying but it was so cool it lasted until 2008 so four years oh did you also watch the show called um what was it higgly town higgly town heroes that's also a good show but another good one is um Lazy Town. Oh, there's sheep. Hi. Come back. I just want to be your friend. Oh, we, we can go over here? Wait. Really? Can you go any further? No. Fine. Um, but yeah, also Peach, by the way. <laughs> you were, I saw on Discord your status. You were playing Subway Surfer. How are you liking it? <laughs> I haven't played that game in forever. Um, you can do some chores. BRB, all good, all good. We'll be here, don't worry. You were a PBS kid. Dinosaur Train, Martha Speaks. I loved Martha Speaks. Um, another good one too on PBS was Arthur. It ended, it, I think it's ending soon, I'm thinking. But also another thing too was... um. 
uh what was it what was it was it it was like something was like tech and i forget what it was called but another one was um uh magic school bus was another one i watched arthur dragon tales yeah. i don't know why i was saying that i don't even know either i'm like wait did they have it on pc because i would play it too I was a bit of a pro at Subway Surfer, by the way. Wild Cards was great. What was that about? I was uh, knocking PBS, PBS, Nick Jr. and Disney Jr. Famesies. Oh, these sheep won't let me through. Okay, then go down here. You won't let me through? These sheep. I swear. Oh, I gotta go up here. And then move them down. Go on down. Unless, no. GP. Aha! Uh -huh. I just have to click on them and move them. No, the OG is better. Zumba Fu is from the OGs. Mm -mm, you know. PBS Kids do be slapping. Wait a minute. PBS Kids shows. I kind of want to watch PBS Kids again. PBS Kids. I learned so much. I used to play a bunch of games on their website. Curious George was another good one. Oh, the wild cards. I watched that show at the very start that I stopped. Um, what's another one? The Super Y was another good one. Word Girl was another good one too. Science Girl, Can the Hat. And God Gill, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going really well. We are playing a nice cute game called Old Man's Journey. And I do be vibing, vibing out here in these streets. But we're just chilling today. Arthur's been going on for 16 seasons since the year 1996. The year of my birth. Wow. When did it start? October 7th, 1996. And it's still going. They have 25 season, 25 seasons. Yeah, season 25 is supposed to be airing February 21st, 2022. Um, that's great. Tell me why I thought it got canceled for some reason. Oh, it's ending. Season 25 is the last season of Arthur. Well, that's kind of rude, honestly. Maybe I watch too much TV. I've seen every show listed okay same go down here um but yeah welcome in god gill i hope you are doing jump off the cliff oh i can move this up well let's see here no we'll, we'll go over here instead can you go down here you're not well stop here oh i can move this up good Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. All good. All good. The Weefy do be struggling when you download a game. It's not fun. Uh, I watched most of these until until way past recommended age. I'm sure. Oh, same. Same. I still watch Arthur to this day. I grew up with that show. Literally grew up with that show. DW Sassy. You just woke up. Well, how was your how was your sleep? Hopefully it was great. Hopefully it was wonderful. Ooh, a boat. Oh, we're good in a memory. Oh, that's good. Hopefully it's at least it's not affected on your end. Good. Another memory. Memories. Oh, we have a sad memory. Oh no. Old man Filbert and his daughter at a birthday party. Must be her birthday party that we're at. He's looking outside because he see a boat. He sees a boat of an old memory. Oh no, this is getting sad. <laughs> Broken dreams. Oh, poor old man Filbert. What happened? 
He's so sad. He got on the boat. Oh, now I can move. That looks unstable. You should probably hold on to something. I didn't know Arthur was still playing until you said it just now to come on too early once you get older. Yeah, it, it comes on too early. And I'm like, I'm, I'm asleep when it comes on. And I'm like, I'm not waking up. So I'll just watch reruns instead. You can watch it on Amazon Prime, apparently, or PBS Kids for free, which I will do most definitely, but I don't like ads. So, oh, you need a subscription on Amazon to watch it. Well, that's just icky. PBS Kids, free. Oh, oh. <laughs> You can watch them. You can watch the whole show on pbskids.org. I love that. I really do. I know what I'm watching later today. That's for sure. Uh, I passed out at 11 last night. Well, no, 12 last night. And woke up at 5.30. Shopped for some crystals in a box and then played Persona 5 Royal to 8. Fell back asleep. That sounds like a fun day. It really does. I didn't go to bed until like one because I was cooking food for myself. Um, I made chicken pot pie last night, which was really delicious, by the way. Really delicious. Loved every single minute of it. Honestly, I really did. And um, personally, would eat it again. Can you not? Sir, thank you. Um, but yeah, quite lovely. Yeah, I didn't go to bed until like one. They stayed up until like in the eon olden hours of time. Osmosis Jones. That movie is wonderful. I love Osmosis Jones, but the movie is like icky based on like you know, all the germs and everything. Um, wait, Joe Neal? Joe, wait, Joe Lynn? Yo, no, that's not it. Yo, Nilly, no. Wait, Yo, Nilly. Thank you for the for the raid. How are you doing today? I said your name completely wrong, by the way. I'm very sorry. Um, but how are you? I hope your stream went well. Welcome in. We're playing a nice, cozy, cute type of game called Old Man's Journey, and it's an indie game. They can get on based on any platform, by the way. You wanna give it a go? You can definitely check it out. Why do I feel like we need to go into the water for some weird reason? I don't know why, but I feel like we need to. <gasps> oh, I've done it. I've done it. Enjoy your lurk. You need a quick nap. I'm so tired, it's totally fine. Lurk away, do what you gotta do. Rest is important. It's very early. Totally understand. Okay. But welcome in, welcome in. You know, ever since I started watching like those old like cartoons, when I watched Osmosis Jones, I always thought, do I, whatever I eat, does it harm my body? Yes. But I'm, like also thinking to myself, what if I do the wrong thing? Will they hurt me and will my body hurt me? <laughs> That's my reasoning for everything after watching all those old movies. Wait, sir. No, 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 no. Don't, don't even try. Don't even try. If he crosses this, it won't work. Great path. Hmm. There's no way. What's this? That's another bridge. If we move this thing down, down. Hmm. Something's off about this. Not quite sure. Part of me feels like we have to cross it to do something, but I don't even. What's this? Oh, Lordy. Um, this game is uh 
Oh, if you're talking about the lurk, um, lurk means that you're just not actively chatting, but you're just like listening to the stream while doing something else. It just lets me know as a streamer to know that you just, you know, you're still here, but you just wanted to lurk while doing like homework or folding clothes or whatever it might be. Falls down. No. Yeah. Maybe I do need to cross the bottom. Apparently, I can't cross the bottom. I can't cross the water. Which is very interesting to me. Hmm. Yeah. If I go on this mountain... Well, I don't want to go down. All I have are these mountains right here. That's a tree. That is so weird. Oh. There was more to this mountain than we thought. Just had to stretch the mountain across. Oh. Well then, now that we know that, <laughs> We just have to cross the thing. Makes perfect sense. You just take a whole mountain and just move it somewhere different. Fine. But we're gonna go on to the mountain. No, 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 no. Sir, I said don't cross the water. Go on to the thing. Oh! Oh, hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. Now I see what I have to do. Go on here. Go onto this mountain now. Go into the red one and then move it over and then we can get a No, get across. Oh, it's like I'm not going back up again. I won't do it. I won't allow it. And we just move this all the way over. There we go. Now we're going somewhere. He cannot die. No. Sir. Oh. That was meant to happen, never mind. Um, but no, he cannot die, which is kind of great because I've suffered enough loss in video games enough. But no, no dying in this game. However, we're on a journey and this journey is long, long. Have the sheep move, not my way sheep. If you want to get this game, you can check it out for yourself. It is a really, really chill game. I do recommend it. It has a lot of a, how I would call it, variety. When it comes to different levels that you can do, you un uncover new memories about this person's life. With each level that you do. I'm not sure how many levels there are, but so far I believe we're on level four, I believe. Four or five. You finished True Colors and now I'm going to play. Tell me why. Oh, I'm going to love it. You're going to be even more confused, God Gill. When I played Tell Me Why, I was like, I was, I kept on saying why the entire time because how much confusion I was having with that game. Mainly just the plot of the story. It was just very confusing. But I enjoyed it though, overall. I hope you like it. There we go. Now they want to move. Once you start playing it, let me know what you think. And then you can feel my frustration with that game. I love Tell Me Why, but oh, some parts do be quite crazy. Look at him. All old and stuff. He's so adorable. Oh. It's getting dark. Getting kind of droopy. A little bit gloomy. You good, Filbert? Filbert, is everything all right? You good? Sheep are still there. Can I click on anything? Oh! <laughs> they said, let there be light. Enjoy your lurk. The after I play, tell me why I'm going to play the Trepid Commune. 
Ooh, now you're doing a full on story mode session. I love that. I love Detroit Become Human. I need to play it again and do like two different options, but you're gonna love that game. It gets very real, very fast. So he's literally on a journey. Garrett's playing Fallout 4, I see. Interesting. Garrett has an addiction? Question mark? <laughs> Kidding. Sus? Maybe, maybe not, who knows? I mean, I haven't played Fallout 4 in a long time. I started it, never finished it. I only got to the underground bunker and that was literally it. I got out and then I stopped playing. I am bad at playing video games when it comes to all that. I have to survive in order to live. I started it and I stopped and like, what's the point? I can't finish this game. Plus I never know how long that game was anyway. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Fancy. Wait. There's another like part I have to do. <laughs> I ruined myself with Tell Me Why I Ended Up Becoming You because I watched three different Let's Plays on YouTube. So I knew what was going to happen. But I've done forgot everything so now I can play. Hey. It's always fun to forget what you've seen. Then you can play it on your own. On your own, which is even better. Oh, I can't move this mountain down. Perfect. No, go up here. Okay. Move that up there. There we go. There's another game I've been wanting to play, but I forget what game it is. I still need to get a PS4 controller because I don't own a PS4 or a PS5 because those things are very expensive. But also, I've been wanting to play... Um, Oh gosh, you all have mentioned it before. And I'm like, I already forgot. It's those popular games on PS4 that everyone has played. The Last of Us. I wanna play The Last of Us so bad. It's so good. I've seen my friend Negaorx play it. I'm like, can I play it too? I wanna play it. That looks really, really good though. Oh, I can move it up this way? No, I can't. BRB Garden Food, all good, all good. Grab the foods. I wonder if I move this down. Okay, now I see where it's up any. Move this up. I can't. That up. I can move this down, but I can't cross the bridge or the wall. Go back up here. Move this down a little bit. Yes. And then I think we can cross the other side. Oh, he, I was like, he just hops fences nowadays. Like, okay. Ooh, wait a minute. I think I've done goofed. I've done goofed. Do you have any more recommendations for story-based games? Oh, I do. This game, okay, I recommend this game for sure. There's really like no dialogue, you're just kind of going through a journey of a story. Um, but there's another game that we recently played on stream called um, The Last Day of June. That game was heavily emotional, at least for me it was. But um, The Last Day of June is a really good game to play. Um, let me put my my lovely thing here, notion board. Uh, I got stuff down, but I have a headache. Oh, I hope you feel better. You gotta go, when's the next stream? Tomorrow, I stream every single day on stream, except Sundays, but tomorrow will be a new stream at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Central Time. We're gonna be playing the A to Z Baby Challenge in The Sims 4. Let's see, oh. 
Another game I recommend is um, Oxenfree, um, Firewatch, Last Day of June, of course. Um, let's see. Have you played Spirit Fair yet? If you haven't, I recommend that one. Yeah, those are like some of the few games I recommend. You got Starbucks. Ooh, woo. Exciting. Uh, Last Day of June isn't really a choice based game. You kind of go through um, this story of uncovering different events that happened on the same day that your wife died. It's about loss and um, somewhat friendship. And you go through all these different different scenarios in the game from different characters in the game of uncovering of what would have happened if you did something different that day. Like, um, for example, what if I didn't play my, my soccer ball in the street? Would she have lived or would she have died? So it's like, it's kind of like a choice based game, but it's like the events that you do changes the past, but it doesn't really affect the future. If that makes sense. You've unlocked 53% of Spirit Fair achievements. Apparently, not bad. Let me see if I can find it. Last day of June. Yeah, so it's about a deep interactive adventure about love and loss, beautifully depicted at offering an intense cinematic experience. What would you do to save the one you love? It's very po like it's very like well liked. It has a very like story rich base style. The art style is wonderful. It's twenty dollars on Steam. Um, you're playing a, a character named Carl, and the wife is June. But you unlock different sequence of events that could save the day of June's life. So, it's really cute. Yeah. Also, two more days until I play Spirit Fair. Ooh, ooh. Exciting. They recently did a new update of Spirit Fair of their last and final update of the game. Can I hop the fence? Is that a thing I can do? Let me see. Let me try and hop this fence. I might have the opportunity to do it. 53%. Can you hop this fence, old man? Can you? You cannot hop the fence. Okay, that's fine. Let's go over here. Move. Okay, no, not move that down. Move this down. Move this up. Move this bottom part down. There we go. Okay. Oh, we can't get down. We've done crack the code. We finally done it. I was like, how do we get down to the other part of the map? Sir, if you want to hop on the train to LAX, that would be great. Hop on this. this no, sir. Wait, are you kidding? I have to go back up. It's like a smidget too high. A smidget too high. Great. Okay. Fine. This, this down. A smidge. Now we can go to the bottom. Two of my passages have been from the update. Ooh. I love the new update, by the way. We played it early. And I have to say, sir, if you want to go down, that would be really great. Um, when we got to the hospital one, like the recent update, the last update, the hospital, that... That spirit is a, is a lot. It's like they hardly do any work. I'm like, okay. Like I'm doing all the work. I got to take care of the people on my boat and you. Oh, is it going to... Oh, is it going to topple down? Wait, hold up. Get off of this. No, 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 no. Go, go, the, go the other way. Go the other way. I told my mom. I'm done. I told my mom that... On 12, 
on Christmas, I'm going to play Spirit Fair because it's technically Christmas Day. <laughs> like it's 12, it's 12 a.m. It's Christmas. Let me play my game now. Let me play my game. Uh, mood. It's like it's technically 12, so it is Christmas. So I should have the opportunity to play. One of the spirits at the hospital asks, did they take a bite of me? I said, no, literally same. I'm just like, are you, why? It's like, don't take a bite out of me. I'm a living human being. I want to live. I don't want to be eaten. No, thank you. What does that do? Oh, I don't know what that does, but that does something. Okay. Pretty interested. I wonder if I, can I go into this side? I can go into that side. If I push this up, wait, hold on, push, not that one, this, this, this one up here. Will he cross the thing? I don't know anymore. You gonna watch uh, Grandma Get Rid of a Reindeer? I love that movie. That movie is so good. So, oh, there we go. But it's a really good one. Grandma, Grandma got ran over by a reindeer on our house something Christmas Eve. You say something, something looked like Santa. But I don't know the rest of the song. It's, I recognize the song like, wait, like what's the song again? Such a good song. It's so good. I I never get tired of like the old Christmas movies. Like even that movie alone is just so funny. It's like she got run over by a reindeer by Santa Claus. That's gotta hurt. You would not recover. Because getting hit by a reindeer sounds brutal. Ooh, these storms do be rough. How do you, oh, oh, oh no, oh no, we're on a boat, here we are, she's angry, here's our child, he says, we can't stay on the scene much longer, we have to leave, think of your daughter, like, okay, does anyone know the weird Owl song, The Night Santa Went Crazy. No. <laughs> what is that even about? The Night Santa Went Crazy. I kind of want to watch the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy episode where they were trying to save Christmas at that Christmas episode or a special for the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy because that whole thing was out of control wild. <laughs> it's so crazy. Santa went on a rampage. Oh, Lordy Lou, Santa Claus be wild. He needs some help. He needs some milk. I can't push this down. Back up. Ooh, oof, she angry. He used to sing that song, Grandma, Grandma Got Ran Over by a Reindeer. You know, Grandma literally the whole month of Christmas. Just to get on her nerve. That's a mood. It's like, here, let me sing you a song. Like, please don't sing this song, please. Can you get on this side? Thank you. There we go. Oh. I'm gonna hop on this side. Santa went on a rampage. Imagine the things you would see. Santa Claus going crazy. This one? Oh my, the storm is out of control. Lordy Lou. Okay, do that. And like this. 
It should go on the other side. I just want to hop the fence. I want to hop on a plane to LAX. I dream of my card again, okay? Want to go to the other side? No. Lower on the other end? Probably so. Wait, not that side. Oh, what well, you're talking about this side? Lower on this side, so it goes down. Oh, 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 that one. I can't go up. So I can't, so I can have enough momentum to smash. That's right. Then reverse so it smashes through the wall. Okay. Let me get off this hill first and hop off. Uh, okay, now I get it. I get it now. I get it now. Okay, let's go back. Go down. Go down. There we go. Yep, you're right. In your noodle brain. Using your noodle brain. Very good. Very good. Don't crack the code. Where I live, uh, where I live, getting knocked over by deer in real life wouldn't be surprising at all. <laughs> it would actually be considered normal. Normal? Oh, it's like, oh, yeah, I just got ran over by a reindeer, you know. The usual things, like, are you okay? I'm fine. It happens all the time. Fine. It's a normal day in my area. Seems perfectly normal. It's like, oh yeah, I just got hit by a deer. Like, you hit a deer? No, I got hit by a deer. That reminds me of that episode from Gilmore Girls. It's like, you hit a deer? No, I got hit by a deer. The deer hit me. As I know someone where they hit a deer twice last winter. What? Oh my goodness. I can never imagine, like, I've seen deers before on the side of the road. Of course. In Illinois, animals are everywhere. Ridiculous. What do you mean you can't get over there? Put your back into it, mister. Oh. But yeah, I'm just like, what in the world? I've seen raccoons, I've seen deers, I've seen every single animal under the sun. Like, are you good? One time I saw a deer not get hit, but I saw like a deer on the side of the road that was hit. And then it got back up and walked away. And I'm like, are you good? Is everything all right? This deer had like nine lives. Like you seem unwell. Oh my goodness, Lordy Lou. Can I move this? Oh, I can't move it up. Oh, there's even more. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Move over here then. Just a few weeks ago, a deer ran in front of a minivan. Looked like it was about to, about to fall down. Uh, uh. Mood. Mood. Go down. Oh, I can move it. Hmm. Our deer was our our deer are weird where I live. If you live in the woods, the slightest sound will cause them panic, but as soon as you see they see a car, they want to hit it. <laughs> what what society do we live in today? Where deers just want to see like a car? Let me hit it. I'm like, no, you're supposed to do the opposite. Don't hit the car. It'll hurt. 
I would assume. Oh, okay. Now I see. I see it now. Move this down. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll go back up here. That's not what I wanted. To I wanted to go back up here. A psychotic deer. Yes. Deer is out here doing, doing the uttermost today. So I don't move this up. I move this up. That down a little bit. I can't move this up because I'm on the hill. Very sad. Oh, I can walk past it. Okay, never mind. Like it was stumbling or tripped or something. Minivan saw it and went slow. I be I would go slow too if I saw it. I'm like, uh, we're just gonna go slow. Slow and steady wins the race, as I always say. You want to go even lower, please? Go lower. Go lower. Oh, it needed to go higher. It goes down. That. Goes down. And then goes up. That. It goes across. And then it breaks it. Boom! Every time I think about deers, I think of Gilmore Girls. Same. I think of Gilmore Girls too. I'm like, they always say, Roar, you hit a deer? No, I got hit by a deer. The deer, the deer hit me. You don't hear that that very often, getting hit by a deer. Most of the time, depending on where you live, but like, like, no, I got hit by a deer. There's a dent in everything on my car. <laughs> the deer hit me. They saw a car, I'm like, boom. And she was like, I hope the deer is okay. Like, the deer is okay. The deer is fine, but my car. I wonder if this has a memory. Oh, it does have some memory. He goes through all this life and thinks about his life from the great beyond or the great all before. If life turned into utter sadness. Up, uh, wait. What is this? I don't care if your office is closed. I will always be on Team Dean. You know, Dean had his moments. So did Jesse. So did that other guy that I cannot remember. But they did Rory wrong. They've done her dirty throughout the entire show. I mean, at the beginning it was fine. But like towards the end, I'm like, they just did her dirty. Did a whole 360. Even the, the reboot at the very end. Wait, you're telling me he left? This old man, this old man packed up his bags and left. He said, I'm going to hop on a plane to LAX with my dream and my card again. And not take you with me. Daughter was like, but daddy, I'm back. He straight up left. No joke, your first accident. A deer ran into my car and jumped up. Lordy Lou, deers are out, out here being wild. Oh no, he's sad. Deers are bold these days, let me tell you. Oh, I believe you. Squirrels are wild. Sir, where are you going? Oh, you're going up here. I want to leave Illinois, but I'm like, um, buying a house ev everywhere else is absolutely insane. Illinois' market house house market is actually decent. <laughs> everywhere else is chaotic. Move, sheep, move. Move. You know, true, true. you never seen a dead squirrel on the road. I've seen dead squirrels so many times in Illinois, it's ridiculous. So many. Ooh, a hot air balloon. Ooh, woo. Move. Move, sheep, move. 
Well, not up there. No, up here. What if I have you all move? Give you some more room. I give you more room and you move back to where you were before. Mm -mm. It's Tisk. Top. Cheapies. They don't want to move. Okay, what if I do this? Go up here. Put the sheep again. They go down here. And I go right here. They go low, I go high. The only way. Oh, no, it's fine, Savvy. It's totally okay. What game were you downloading? Anything good? I keep on sliding down. Here. Prophecy. Is there, there's so many. It's a person. Oh, my gosh. You watched it five times and you cried. Oh. Friends till the end. Oh, HelloFresh is um, quite expensive. Depending on what you're... Okay, with HelloFresh, I enjoy it personally because I like cooking a lot and I love variety of foods. That's what I like about it. It's all pre-portioned, all pre-measured, so you're not really wasting any food when you are when you use HelloFresh. However, it is expensive. Um, usually because I what I got was like two servings, four meals... Every week, two servings. And it cost me like $79 every week. It was a lot of money. But luckily though, for you, if you wanted to try out HelloFresh though, I'm not sponsored by them at all. I wish I was. But um, if you want to try HelloFresh for yourself, you can use um the link in the chat to get $100 off off of HelloFresh if you want to. Can if you want to if you want to get a hundred dollars off hellofresh you can um, using my code but i say it's worth it if you are wanting to experiment in different foods and learn different recipes because what's great about it is that you get these like recipe cards that you can keep and like you can cancel it at any time you can cancel it literally every single week up until it won't allow you to cancel anymore Skip as many weeks as you want. Cancel whenever you want. Try it one time. Good. Oh, magic so. shell. What do we need to do to get out of the But it's good to try forest. something new though. Move. Nothing. Gosh. The shell has spoken. Cheap won't. Yeah, it's definitely something worth it if you want to try something new. And yeah, if you want to have like extra. You can always like buy the ingredients. It tells you everything you need to know, like what you need to get for your recipe. But well, what's even better about it though is that they give you all the ingredients, but they don't give you like the, you know the basic ones like salt, pepper, sugar, oil. They don't give you that. They don't give you that at all. But they give you the rest of the like you know recipes that you need or ingredients you need. If that helps you, I can show you what I got this week. Hello, Fresh. Well, not this week. Last week. Kill the engine. I skipped every week. Wait for instructions. I'm in charge. Um. Yeah, save your money, buy a cookbook, and learn. True, true. It is very expensive. But what's even better though, if you go into their website, um. You actually have the opportunity to like check out all the recipes without even buying HelloFresh. And they still like show you all the ingredients that you'll need to cook that certain meal and everything. So you don't really have to get HelloFresh if you don't want to. But if you want to see like what recipes are there that they offer, you can do that without having to like log in and stuff. Which is perfect. RPG, welcome in. How are you? But yeah, mine's more like a, a monthly thing for me now like more of like a special thing if i want to get something i'll just get it but yeah that's usually like what what i have you got uh certain information from your current allergy doctor is going to quit my quit doing allergies so now i'm going to have to go through another allergy doctor 
do allergy tests again, which is probably gonna be 300. Oh my gosh. I took an allergy test recently. And oh my gosh, I'm allergic to so many different things. More than I thought, <laughs> which is not great. Can you go up with this bridge? Wait, can you climb this? Oh wait, he can't, because the sheep are in the way, duh. Mm, yeah, you can always try the recipes, yeah. You're doing okay, sleep deprived, if that's not me. Oh, the sheep are right here. You can't move. You can't move at all. What if I... Well, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> sheep, hop on this. No, 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 stay up here, stay up here, stay up here. Go somewhere else. Y'all go up there. Y'all go right here. Hop. No, I'm stuck. What if they hop on this? They don't want to share their space? Well, that's crazy. But they, if you have an allergy doctor, you should be able to, like, give your records to the new one. Because that's ridiculous. You shouldn't have to pay that much. You shouldn't be able to pay at all. If the sheep... Then we'll get off. I keep getting notifications that, that Gary's playing Fallout 4. Same. He keeps playing it over and over and over. Okay, I can't move the sheep. Go back up here. Uh, I would have continued, but the max meals, it will let me buy was five, but I make a lot of recipes from there and tweak it to my own. And that's what I like too. I tweak everything. I don't really kind of go with what the recommended is. Then like, I don't want to have all that stuff. Like I don't use cheese. I don't do that because I'm lactose intolerant. So I'm like, there's no need for me to have all that. I, I modify a bunch of stuff to fit my needs. But, um, yeah. So this, oop. this is what I got. I got this. I made this last night. It was quite great. I posted it on my Instagram stories, by the way, if you want to set the final result. But, like, I made this last night. It took 50 minutes to make. But, like, like I said, they give you all the ingredients, all pre-measured and pre-portioned based on how many servings you get. Um, I only have two servings because I eat for two. I eat like, I, can, I eat so much basically. So I'm, I got two servings of this and they give you amount of ingredients for two servings or more, but they don't include like the basics of like cooking oil, salt, pepper, butter, stuff like that. But they tell you basically all utensils, the nutrients that are in it. They even give up the full recipe as well. How long it takes. Every single last thing. They even show you how to make it. I do better with pictures. You had to get an allergy shot every other week. So they have a mix of medicines. You did the other one. I did the other one. Do. I realized they use a lot of stuff from HelloFresh. Yeah. And like, what's even cooler about this is that I could literally buy all the stuff from a grocery store and make it again if I wanted to. And I have a lot of recipes. I have over 50 recipes that I can make myself now because of this. But still, you can like go to the recipe archive and like still find the stuff without being logged in. American, Italian, Asian, Mediterranean, Mexican, Korean. They have a lot of recipes. A lot of recipes. Can I like what? Yeah, they got a lot. It's my immune system, which sucks. Yeah. My immune system is just like all over the place. Get 14 meals, free meals, plus three gifts. Okay, interesting. But yeah, they tell you everything what you need to do. Which is like I like because pictures are involved and I do best with picture. Now, sir, stay here. These sheep need to move. Like, now. Like, y'all needs to move. 
if I... Oh, that's going to be hard. Mm. Can you all go up to the second level? That'd be nice. What are we doing? We're playing Old Man's Journey. If you do exclamation mark old O-L-D in the chat, it will tell you more about this game. No. Sheepies. Why you do me wrong? Oh, oh, wait. I know what I have to do now. I know what I have to do now. Go down. Go right here. Go into this mountain right here. Go. Not like that. Hold up. I'm going to go back up. Move this mountain down. This down. So I can get to this. Not what I want to go back. Go back. Go into this mountain. Right here. Move these sheep up. But the sheep, they go down. And then I move the mountain down again. And then I hop off. Hop off. Hop off. Sir. I'm going to cry. Um, but behind, hey, welcome in. And Stacy, hello. Welcome, welcome. This game is available basically everywhere you can think of. It's on every single platform. They're right now having a sale on the Switch at the moment. <gasps> they move. They actually share space. You know what? Ah. So, okay. I remember having an allergy test when I was way younger. It was like all the needles that would, they would stick on your arm. That stuff was horrifyingly awful. I hated that stuff. But then um, it was very itchy on my arms. That was when I was young. But then this time I did a blood test instead. Way easier. You just woke up, how was your morning? My morning has been pretty good. I've just been chilling, hanging out, vibing for the most part. Not crying. Right? Um, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to play a nice cozy game for the morning time called Old Man's Journey. He doesn't have a name, but we just call him Philbert. Old Man Philbert. And we're going through this journey of his. And what I've noticed is that there are different memories that he has experienced in his lifetime. We found out he left his wife and daughter behind to go on an adventure in some way that I'm just like, why? And now he's all alone and old. This game has very cute graphics. I agree. It came out in 2017. So it's been a minute since uh, this game was released. And also Zuko, welcome in. How are you? So cute. Ooh, fancy. That's what I was saying too. It has very up vibes. And what's funny with up, they didn't have a kid, but in this game, they had a kid. So it's like, wait, funny. Uh, graphics remind me of up. I, I want to watch up again at some point, you know, your sweatshirt is pink and cute. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm wearing my sensitive hoodie, by the way. It's my friend Kayla's merch. I'm wearing it because that's what I'm wearing. Sensitive because I'm sensitive. I cry too much. I'm supposed to be getting my my deli's uh, deli Grissy's merch uh, today. Actually, it's it's at my my um, mailbox right now. I just have to pick it up. So I bought my friend's merch. Really nice. If you want to get your own merch, um, either Kayla's or Deli's, it's available now. I recommend it. It's quite nice. <laughs> you can go to littlesimsyshop.com or Shop. The two. One of the two. Or you can get my own merch. I have my own merch too. It also comes in pink too, as well. I have my own merch. It's quite nice. The hoodie comes in pink. 
<laughs> I can show you my merch. It also comes in pink and blue and gray and also white. It only goes up to 3XL. Apparently all the other sizes are sold out, but it's some. Um, I do have them. Most people in the spring squad have this hoodie, which I think is quite lovely in my humble opinion. But if you want to get one, you can. And for the holidays. Um, welcome back, God Gill. Welcome back. I was just showing off my merch. <laughs> Cause I was like, ooh, it's very it's very comfy, by the way. I own one. Daph Daph owns one. Daphne owns one. The crew neck, however, doesn't come in badly. It only comes in white. But I can see if it comes in pink, though. I can definitely do that for you. Sure, Aziz. Because I'm working on making new merch for next year anyway. So I can have some new things on there. The mods are basically all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Abby should get one, too. No, why are you going this way? Can I move this whole mountain down? Ooh. That's fancy. Yeah, the pink crew neck. Let me see. Let me log in real quick. Because now I'm curious myself. Bring. Aha! Here it is. I found it. Ooh. Beans? Oh, why is that there? Oh, my. Cheaper in the way. So I might need to go actually, yeah. I'm gonna have to go through all this. I have to go up here. No! Why, sheep? Why you do me wrong like that? You're on the thing. Move. Okay, so no, no. Oh, now they want to move. Now they want to move. Okay, if I do this, move them, and then I fall down, like so. Maybe I'll be able to go through them. Hoodies all the way. Hoodies all the way. Go over here. She won't move. Sad. I'm definitely getting the hoodie whenever I get a chance. I love hoodies because. During summertime, when I get cold at the stores, I can throw it on exactly. Exactly. Oh, yeah. So the crew neck doesn't have a pink, sadly. No, it does not have a pink. Only wish it did. That would be nice. If you want to move, if I can go through you, glitch, go through. Move. 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 Let me through. You can do it. You can do it. One more. One more. Don't be shy. Don't move the other way. Go the other way. Sheep. Move. Move. So I can go through. They're saying, hurry up. Move on. One. There. You're right there, sheep. Move. Thank you. Whew. That took forever. The sheep wouldn't move. I was like, I'm right there. You can do it. I believe in you. You basically can walk on water. That's a lot of hills. It is very hilly over here. Hilly and chilly. Love chilly. Here? Oh, I can I can move this? Oh. You tell me it's gonna go back onto this water and fall down. Yes. Onto the rock. That's what he does. No, 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 sir, 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 sir. What are you? Can I move this? Well, this is weird. Mini heels. 
A lot of trials and tribulations in this in these streets. He's go he goes back up here. He does that. Can he go into this rock? He can. But then again, I'm thinking to myself, how in the world are we supposed to get back to where we need to be? Oh, it doesn't work that way. Oh, I can't. Oh, here it is. Pretty hills. He's very agile for his old age. Honestly, for his old age, he is an old man. He sure got a lot of spunk, a lot of power. Like, sir, where was his energy 84 years ago? You know? I think we need... Oh, I think we need... I think we do need to fall down and then put this thing down so we can get to the other side. Uh, I swear stores love to keep the temperature inside. 20 degrees. Oh, yes. They said we're sweating in here too. So you shall suffer as well. I'm like, why? I didn't want to. Can you get over here? Welcome back. You have anything to share? Anything to share with the class today? So if he goes like this, he can't get to the side. But here's my thing. Here's my reasoning. If he can't get to this side, there has to be some way where we can extend something like a, a hill. Oh, 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 I know what it is now. I know what it is. I know what it is. We have to go back up here, get on the rock, put it down further enough to get to this rock, go over to the other side, get down. I know what to do. I think. Maybe. Uh, I knew the old man was like 80 years old, quite short and rather thin, but he's very weird and strong, lifting 50 pounds of stone. You know? What do you call a hippie's wife? A Mississippi. A Miss Mississippi? Hippie Sippy? Get it? Miss Sippy? Like a hippie, but sippy. There we go. Pasta, are you sharing? We're getting energy when we are like it's like one to ten and seventy. 90 there's no mid, there's no middle there's no in between in between we are tired and ready to sleep <laughs> mrs hippie exactly exactly thank you i'll be here all week literally i stream every day <laughs> every single day See, so we got down here I need to go down. Nom nom. I love looking at pasta piviera. Pasta's good for the soul. I need to go back up here. I feel like I have to push up this thing. Push up this. Oh, let me do what I want. Unless. Oh, 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 oh. We go back on here. On here. Go back on here on the rock. Get on the rock. Go all the way up here. So we go down to here and then we go across. Yeah. Um, literally, I think pasta is my favorite food, but then there are fries and ice cream and Chinese food. You know, I'm a person who, who loves a good, uh, good fashion French fries. After Christmas, I'm going to be subscribing to you. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that so much. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, you cannot walk on water. There you go. Fall. <laughs> Thinks he can walk on water. Who does he think he is? Good morning. How are you doing today, Sim? Welcome in. Welcome. 
We're playing a nice, cozy game called Old Man's... J Did he drown? This old man drowned. Anyway, we are playing a nice, cozy game called Old Man's Journey. It's available everywhere. Steam, Switch, Xbox, PS4, Android, and iOS on various prices. Italian, Mexican, and anything Chinese and Japanese food are my weakness. I love a good Chinese food. <laughs> nice, because did this old man drown? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> uh, me and my tangents, I swear. The game does me dirty with my ADHD. Um, and I'm glad you're doing really good today. Old Man Drowns, new game, for, uh, new name for, for a game. Yeah, yeah. Old Man Drowns on an Old Man's Journey. The Rory Borealis. This man left his wife and child. Got married at a very young age when his wife was pregnant. They got married. It was a shotgun wedding. Lived for a very long time. Left. Went on a journey to live by himself in some weird country. And now he's all alone. Old Man Drowning is the real name. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's very sad. That was his wife. <laughs> Literally said the same thing. I thought he drowned. I thought he drowned too. Unless he did drown and he's like unconscious. Someone, did somebody save him? This old man still in the... So you're telling me we're under, we can breathe underwater? Do we know anything about his family? Sadly, we don't. Oh, well, kind of. All we technically know is that he got married at a young age because his girlfriend was pregnant. And then they got married. They were basically living on the sea for a short while. She got angry, didn't like it. They bought a house. Lived there for a while. And then he packed his bags and left both of them to kind of like live on the sea. That's what all that I know from what I've like captured through all the memories of what we played so far. He's like a fisherman, basically. Yeah. Well, that's all that I know. Oh, this man can breathe underwater. He a fish. He a whole fish. He can breathe underwater. The developers who made this game are from Austria. So it's pretty, uh, a very unique game. <laughs> you know, just a casual old man breathing underwater. They do be saying it's, it's definitely a journey about loss and changing plans. We definitely did change our plans because we are now living underwater. Old man can, oh. Can we go to this now? Oh, it can. What if we do this? Go back up to this hill. It is very sad. When you really think about it, about all the memories and all his like things that he's done. Yes, yeah, it's a story game about life's precious moments, broken dreams, and changed play. A great puzzle game and a simple, truthful story surrounded by gorgeous music, art, and design. But what was the actual description of this game? <sighs> I don't even remember anymore. Hold up, let me go to my library. Old man's journey. Your game, P. Oh, yeah. So it says, Old man's journey, a soul searching puzzle. Adventure tells a story about a way of lo life, loss, and hope. It, interacting with the world around you, you'll shape the landscape to create the old man's path forward. Experience heartache and hope as you embark on a heartfelt journey through a sun kissed world. Yes. Oh, it's very sad. Um, it doesn't tell you much about it, but like it, it's it's definitely very emotional for sure. A lot of heartache, a lot of sadness. He's literally underwater now. How can he breathe? Why are the power lines underwater? I don't even know. Maybe. Oh, I think we're gonna get a memory at some point, showcasing that um. Hello? Do not go. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, why? Why? 
I just wanted to get to the other side. Go like this. Oh, oh, so okay, here's my here's my thinking. He was on the boat when he was younger and his boat crashed is what I'm thinking. His boat probably crashed underwater. So we're like looking at an underwater memory he had. Is what I'm assuming. This is like very care you gotta be very careful with the stuff. Sir, can you like not? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Crying is good. Crying is good. My have Lupin, I think it is. It's your birthday. You can cry when you if you want to. Oh, now I can go over here. Thank you. It's a good cry. You know, crying is good. Even when it's good or bad. <laughs> Let all the emotions out. Maybe he fell asleep and is going through the memories of his feelings. That's what I'm thinking too. Because now I can see bits and pieces of his boat underwater. That's kind of scary. But this is definitely very like going through some motions in the oceans. Go right here. I and look over here. I can't see. Down. Can you go over here now? He cannot. Go right here. Oh, keep going, keep going. Go back up here. It's a lot of like shaping the landscaping to fit the story, which is like it's so good. I really enjoy how they made this game, honestly. I hope I'm going up. Can't he still can't go through it? We'll go back up to this like other level. And go down with each one. Go up with each one. So we can get some type of at some point we're gonna have to get somewhere. Now this is gonna be a little bit difficult. Right here. Oh, we can get to his. Oh, we just have to move the stuff. Oh, he's basically Aquaman. You think Aquaman was the first one to live the dream underwater? You thought wrong. Old man Filbert is the first Aquaman. He's lived many lifetimes. He's like 80 years old. I would think so. 80 years old. He's the new, he's the original Aquaman. They said he was old and senile and they said, oh, I don't think you're fit for the role anymore. So we got to go with somebody different. And they did. Sadness. Just because I'm 80 years old doesn't mean I'm young, hip and with it. I've had 80 pounds of baggage. And I'm doing fine. Thank you very much. DC Comics. Imagine. Imagine. Sir, thank you. Oh, he's he's transparent. Or he was for a split second. You want to go over here? No. S Sir, where you where, where you want to go? Where you want to go, Busty? Where you want to go? You want to go on trip? You want to go on trip? Oh. Oh, he did. We just had to go down further. <laughs> we just had to go down further, but now we can't. Hmm. Go back up here. On the other hill. Move this. Down. Or up. Oh, move this. We gotta move the boats. We. Wait. Yeah. Go here. He's basically a ghost now. <laughs> sir is giving me 12 minutes flashbacks. Sir, sir, literally, sir, what are you doing? He's literally a ghost. I think he died. Oh my God. What if at the end of the game he died? I don't have time for that. I've done enough crying this year. I don't have the patience. I only had a blank moment and it was like, what DC superhero is... Does he remind me of <laughs> Aquaman? 
Can you not get on this part of the ledge? Yes, you can. Tiny now. Move this. Okay. He's basically Aquaman. He's a ghost. Did he just walk on water? Anyway, so go over here. Go, go, go on the other side. This, sir, are you? Oh, also, can I move this mountain down, please? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There is so many hills. Okay, we gotta go over here. <laughs> it's so shallow. Where is he going? There's a whole town under here. He will occurs. Okay, so I'm thinking he won't jump this because that will be crazy for him. So maybe if we go back here, this mountain. Oh, we can't go down that far. Okay. Hmm. Can't go to the other side just yet. Unless we take... I don't know. This man is OP. He's so cool. I want to be just like old man Filbert. Even though that's not his name, I still want to be just like him. I think it'd be really cool. <laughs> he has a very interesting life, honestly. He really does. Can't move this mountain down. We can move this mountain up. But that's just going back up, up. Do this. You can jump that. What if we... A lot of connections. Oh, we don't know his name. I just kind of gave him a random name. He seems like a filbert, honestly. But no name. Gotta be pain to climb up all back up. Uh, gotta be a pain to climb all the way back up. Yeah. My legs will hurt. <laughs> I don't like exercise. Puzzles are very hard. This is a very puzzly type game. It's so, like having to think of like, What's the best possible way? What's the best avenue you get to take is very difficult. So maybe if we take this down and we move this up. Okay, I think I got it. There we go. Yeah, so we go down here, hops this. He goes all the way up, hops this over here, and then we go all the way back down. There we go. All these mountains down. There's more to be seen. It would have been nice if they gave him a name, but I feel like it would have been more personal if we did. People said it was just like really great. It's like poetry. This man can walk on water. He can breathe underwater. Now you can go over here. I know for sure we're not gonna be able to finish this game. So we're gonna play it um again. Or Shorzies in the new year, most likely. Because Lordy Lou, let me tell you, this game is emotional. Filbert is the official name now. Yes. Filbert, the old man. I can not see. How far do I have to go? Oh, what? Does he have a key? This old man got something. I'm screenshotting for evidence. Where did he get the key from? I'm curious about how, about the end now, same. They said it takes you three hours to complete this game. Well, when you stream it, it takes four hours, it takes forever. Oh no, his house. Where his wife and child lived, either they moved, or they got evicted, or it, they got evicted, and then it got abandoned, and no one else lived in there, and they boarded it up. Oh my. That's not good. What does a vigor day, a vende, what does that even mean? 
Let's see. Uh, Ven Deer. I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, to sell. This means to sail. Uh, is it a picture game? So, yes and no. There are a bunch of, like, memories that you um, experience throughout this uh, lovely life of this game. It's very interactive. It's like a... Uh... He's so sad. Um, it's a very game that you have to, like basically shape these mountains to get to a certain point in the game to get to another memory that is technically a picture of his past life and it's sad because his life is very complicated it's like kind of a yes and no picture game but not picture game there's really like no talking dialogue it's just like a picture of going through things so it, it Basically a picture game. The more the thing about like, yeah. Basically a picture game, but it's like interactive. It takes me a minute, honestly. I have packages coming today and I'm waiting for them to arrive. It's annoying. I have packages waiting for me too. Waiting. The kid and his wife moved. That's what I'm thinking. So the kid, his kid and wife moved, but I wonder why. Their house is boarded up, is my thing. That's what I'm thinking. Why? Oh my lord. Oh we go over here. Yeah, so it's like it's kind of both. Go up here. Oh, I see what we have to do now. Uh, oh, we can move rocks. Can you go over here? You can't climb. We just gotta keep on moving these mountains up to get to the top. I kind of like games like this because they're very simple and very easy to play, but not simple because it takes so much time. Especially a game like this, a puzzle game where you got to go through all these little different periods of his life to uncover things. But now I'm like really curious on how this game ends. Because Lordy Lou, what we've seen so far, his life is sad. Very sad. Left his wife and kid. They left too. But why a part of me feels like he's um, trying to find his wife and kid again. Like he found their address and now he's like on a mission to find them again. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I just got to look him up. Basically, yes. Uh, yes? Can't go through this yet. I was like, why does this mountain remind me of Lion King? I don't know why. Like, you move this mountain up, it's like, Lion King, Simba. I am your father. I'm like, okay. Life is, al is always sad. It really is. I say never take anything for granted you never really know what the outcome will be like oh we can't go down here hold up oh they can I, -hoo -hoo -hoo. I want to know what happens to his wife and kid too on my schedule for next week i need to change some stuff around Hmm. Maybe we'll play it on New Year's Eve Eve. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. That start. Yeah, I was like, wait, what's the? He, they said something in Lion King. It's like it was like Simba, and was like something. As people. Oh, as people, we can make it better for each other. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, really? Same actor. Hold up. Lion King? Oh, 
It is. James Earl Jones played Darth Vader. I didn't know that. He was made for the role. A little town. It's so cute. I did not know that. It's just like, wait, what? He's he's 90 years old, by the way. That's a lot of years of living. I didn't know that. I don't really look at the voice actors of like their names. Really? I'm like, oh, I didn't know. <coughs> My theory is he's going to find his kid and wife now. Same Z's. I hope so. Go up. Keep going up, 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 up. Wait, what? I'm confused. What do you mean? Oh. Go up here. I hope he finds his kid and wife. That would be nice. That'd be really nice. What do you mean you can't get up there? What do you mean? I have to bring it up even more. Are you kidding me? In this economy? Oh, never mind. Yeah, I was like, I've watched every single Star Wars movie known to man, but I didn't even know that myself. I've seen everything. I don't really got, I haven't also watched Star Wars in a long time. And I've seen Lion King and I have it on, uh, I think I have the first one on VHS, I'm pretty sure. But I, I don't look at the actors half the time. Ooh, it's like a, it's like a church bell. Oh, is this where he got married? Where his daughter got married? Did he find his kid? What? Oh, Hello. Still doing Darth he's still doing it? This man's a legend. Hey, I need a ride. Oh, brittle bones can't walk no more. Hitchhiking? Hitchhiking. Like, thank you. Get in the back. He's in the rise of uh, Skywalker. Lordy Lou. Oh, I can move a whole mountain. Hold up, let's do this. Okay, keep, keep going. Keep going. You can do it. Don't be shy. No, where? Oh, okay. Now I get, I'm like, wait, hello. Can I move? Go up here. There we go. Flip it around. Go up. Nope, 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 no. Going up. Go, going, go, go, going. We're gonna drive off the edge. Uh, <laughs> Artie, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going pretty well. No. Gosh, I'm gonna cry. How are you doing today? I hope your stream went well. We are playing a nice, cozy, cute game called Old Man's Journey. Welcome in, besties. It's available on every single platform on a variety of prices, depending on what platform you get it on, like your Switch, Steam, phone, Apple, Android, all that stuff. But I hope your stream went well. What did you all do today? Would like to know. It looks like you're tickling the truck. <laughs> uh, mood. Can I go up there that time? Go up higher? I guess so. <laughs> oh, welcome in, welcome in, besties. Oh, now he can go up. Thank you. This is my first time playing this game. It came out in 2017. So it's been a, a long journey is how I will put it. A very old, long journey for an old man. It's on Steam, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Switch the iOS store or the Android store. It ranges on based on platform from like $5 to $10, but it's really fun. What we've played so far has been really interesting. It's a story about love lost and, you know, change of plans. You never really know what life is to expect until, you know, you live it. And sometimes, you know, things change and that's okay. So, yeah really cozy and really cool i recommend it i might need to put this down 
Let's go back down. Let's just drive down. Let's go. I believe on Switch is like $5. Oh, we can move it down. Oh, look at us go. On a journey. The great beyond. What do you mean you can't go over here? Now you can. Can you? Can't. Can you? Oh, now you can. There we go. Very cozy game. Skyrim? I've never played Skyrim before, but I heard it's like really interesting. Just some chill wandering around and nearly dying a lot. You know, I think that sounds fun. You know, nearly dying in video games sounds like a fun time. Because I'm the exact same way. I tend to die a lot in video games because I wander around too much. I'm like, oh, what's this? It's poison oak. Don't touch it. Like, oh, really? Oh, okay. <sighs> I have a bad habit of doing that a lot. Very bad habit. Can I go over here? I can. Okay. So I'm thinking if I... Okay, I can move. go down here is what I'm thinking. And then I move it up. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Vroom, vroom. I'm in my mom's car. Oh, get out me car. I love the ex I love to explore, but then I have no option, no potions left, and just paint. No, go over here. Pain. That's how I feel. There was this one game I played called Lake, which isn't supposed to be chaotic, but I made it chaotic because I drove into the lake one time while delivering mail. It was wild. <laughs> I used to play this one game also with my dad called um, Boulder's Gate Dark Alarms on Xbox. And let me tell you, I was not really great at that game. I still loved it. I enjoyed my time. I bought it again because now it's on Xbox uh, Series X. Backwards compatible besties. And now live my life. I'm playing it with my dad on Christmas. Oh, the bucket fell. Oh no. I spilled water. You love Lake. Lake is so fun. We completed the whole game. And now I wish it was like another part of it. This man on the roof. He said, I'm living my life. This game is so cute. I want to build art like this again. Or at one point. I feel like I can build, make art like this. This takes time. Ooh. You need to play Lake. I wish it was on the Switch. Why do I feel like it's on the Switch now? Actually, no, it's not. Not yet, though. Yeah, not yet. Oh, no, it is. Wait, hold up. Oh, no. They're thinking of putting it on the Switch soon. Not yet. I was like, I just looked at them like, wait, it's on Switch? No, it's not. It's only on PC. Xbox, sadly. It would be so great on the Switch, honestly. It would be. Dude, slip, <laughs> slip off right into the seat, literally. I did. I wanted to see what would happen, you know? The usual things. There's a child. You like games like Boulder Gate, but I have not tried it. It's really good. I love Boulder Skate. I'm buying the new one when it's out of early access to play it on stream with my friend Rochella. He wants to play it, and so do I. A child. Oh, we just closed the garage. A child. I'm probably going to wait for it to come out on Switch. Yeah, I would do the same thing. Oh, and if you didn't know this, Life is Strange True Colors is now available on the Switch, by the way. That's fun. That's 
He's in a he's in the tree. Uh what can I do? What can we dare? Can we go higher? Oh, we can move this thing. Oh. There's another person behind here. Hello. Hi, sir. Breaking some leaves. Doing some stuff. Killing. Him. <laughs> I'm just delirious at this point. There's so much. Oh, I can open up the gate. I like how very interactive this is. This makes me like the game even more. I also realized I need to push this up even higher. Wait, what did I just press? I just pressed something. I clicked something that was highlighted. Oh. I need to go back down and move this the entire way up. There we go. Perfect. I love that tall house. Same. I love this house so much. Oh, there's another game on the Switch that I've played before. It's called Judy LeClue. No, not Judy. It's called Jenny LeClue. It's on the Switch. And the art style is extremely like this. Voice acting and everything. And it's so good. I haven't finished it yet, but it's it's a really good recommendation. Honestly, to do no wrong. It's like a mystery type game that you're playing a kid named Jenny LeClue. A wannabe, you know, Sherlock Holmes. But it's really good. Sir, you left your bag. Why are you going to somebody's random house? And he just walks in like he owns the place? Who does he think he is? Oh, it's fine. Oh my. What? Please don't tell me this is his wife. That's his. Is that his wife? That has to be his wife. Or it's some random lady. Oh no. I think that's. I think this is his. That's his wife. And then that's his daughter. Why is this game like this? Why do I play games that make me sad? What do you think? Oh, she's she's waking up. Oh, look at them. Picture. The wife and daughter. Wait, what? <gasps> no. She died. Where did the daughter go? Oh, and she she left. And he just stayed there crying. That's his wife and daughter, the feels. Oh, all little pictures on the wall. Where did he go? Don't tell me he died too from sadness. What's going on? Oh, do you remember the little boat? The old man. Oh, <laughs> going to cry. This is just sad. What's next? Please don't tell me that's the end of the game. Please don't tell me that's the end of the game. Please don't. Please don't. If that's the end, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be livid. Not the end. Okay, he's on a boat. Oh, he went on a boat ride with his daughter. She has a kid. He's a grandpa. Oh, that's so adorable. He's a little grandpa. That's it. That was a journey. This old man went through trials and tribulations of life. To get to where he is now. He's a grandpa. We need a okay, we need a second game. We need we need a second one. Um old man's journey two. Make it happen, make a trend. I don't care if this game was made back in 2017. I need more content of this. Please and thank you. I 
can't believe it. He's a grandpa. His wife died. He literally, I am not kidding. If you are brand new to the stream and brand new, brand new to this game and hopping at a random moment, this guy had a shut a shotgun wedding because his girlfriend was pregnant. He got married, had a kid. They lived on a boat for many, many years. The wife didn't like it. She argued so much that they left the boat life to live in a nice little house in the prairie for a couple of years. He didn't want to be there anymore. He wanted to be a fisher and live his life on the sea. So he packed up his bags and left his his daughter and wife and lived on the sea for a long time. Got a letter from the mail post mail guy or whatever. At the beginning of the game, he got a letter saying that his wife is very ill from his daughter. And he took this journey by foot and one by boat and car. To get to his wife to see her last dying breath. And that is so sad. It's 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 so sad. So many journeys and loss and uh yeah, this is a very short game. People said that it took them about two two hours, sometimes like two to three hours to complete this game. But it's very, very short. Very short. Because if you look it up, let me see. When I looked it up, how long to beat Old Man's Journey, the longest that it took somebody to complete this game was um, three hours and 43 minutes. But that was on PS4. But um, the shortest that it took people on PC was like three hours. I mean, the longest it took people on PC for like, it took them like three hours. Yeah, it's short. I figured it was a very short game, honestly. I love this game. It's so adorable. I hope you all enjoyed Vienna Business Agency, Vienna. Oh, dedicated to our families. Thank you for the support, inspiration, and love you. Continuously provide. We would not be here if it weren't for you. <laughs> Yeah, it makes sense for the price. It's like it's very, very cheap. Um, on the Switch, it's like $5. And you get, the amount of content you get out of it is worth the price. I mean, it's, I think it's worth it, personally. I want to see if there's more. I need to know. I need to know. Come on. Don't be shy. Oh, the end. Wow. Well, that was it. The end. Where's my mouse? The art is very beautiful. Don't hurt to look at it. True. It wouldn't hurt to look at it for sure. I would say it's good for the art style and the story. Even though there's like no talking dialogue of any kind, still capture the moments of this person's life. Gone through every single moment. There are 15 levels in this game and we've gone through them all. Old Man's Journey, Twitter and Facebook, oldmansjourney.com. But that is just so wild. Oh, wow. It quit the whole game. Wow. I just want to go to the beginning. Anyway, um, it's really, really cute. I, I recommend it if you all want to give it, a, give it a go, give it a look, see. But my friends, I think we shall call it here for day. Storzies. It's worth it, <laughs> but the game itself has a lot of potential, in my humble opinion. The art style, like this, this whole thing is so good. The level of detail, the clothing, the actual old man itself is so cool. Why games be hurting my feelings lately? I don't understand. You know, this gives me up vibes also the game that we played called Lassie of June. These three games, well, two games and a movie combined makes me so sad. It makes me so upset. Oh, I'm just like, wow, just wow. Round of applause, honestly. Round of applause for all the people who made this game because they did a good job making me wanting to cry. They won a lot of awards. Apple Design Award, the Japanese Prize. 
Indie Cap Europe. Like they made a they got a lot of awards. Day of the Devs. Oh good. I might give it a go on my phone. I can get it through my gameplay pass. Yes. If you have gameplay pass, you can get it then. Oh, it's so good. I cannot believe this. I want to see what others they have here. Do you have more videos? The announcement, the teaser, the teaser, Nintendo trailer, Xbox trailer. Okay. So there's like no other videos I can see here. All the images we've already saw within the game. But everything is just so cool. I guess these are the people who made, made it, which is so cool. Round of applause. So good. This is round of applause, besties. That, that's just so good. So well done. Well you really made. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, okay, the history. So it says, built with intention, soul, honesty, and condor. The relatable story of old man's journey was designed to showcase universal truth that transcend across cultures and many stages of life. He behind the game, Felix and Selmans of Broken Rules were inspired by, to create Old Man's Journey upon struggling to find balance in their own lives between family, career, and following their dreams. A concept that emotionally connected with them, and they believed that that would resonate with many, they sought out to take players on a heartfelt experience of reflection told through the touching life story of an old man. They've worked tire tirelessly to combine the rich handcrafted world, inquisitive puzzles, and heartfelt narr narrative of an old man's unfulfilled promises and realized dreams into what they believe is a timeless, relatable experience. That's really nice, honestly. That's really nice. When there's a backstory behind a game that is so relatable and true to their own lives, is so good. Honestly, literally, first time playing this game, and I give this game a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Literally. These are the prices. 4 9 8 10 10 10 10 But Switch is on sale, and I think the regular two are on PS4 and Xbox One are just regular 10 but still good. Anyway, I think what we're going to do today, my besties, is definitely do... The clip of the day to end it off on a good note. Jared's still playing Fallout 4, I see. Interesting. Wowzers. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, but the clip of the day, besties, it's an Animal Crossing clip. Because let me just tell you, I was trying to literally find Marshall, still couldn't find him. And now I'm still sad. I've spent almost a grand total of 400 Nook Mile tickets to find Marshall. Still can't find him. We shall go hunting next year. It is going to happen. I will not rest until I find him. But here's the clip of the day. Ooh, press play. Let's go, Marshall. Marshall. No. I was so sad. This is a repeat. This is a repeat villager. I just know it. I just know it actually no that you know a repeat. You might no. You might not be a repeat, but I'm gonna take out your fire though. Oh. <laughs> Kyle. Kyle is so icky. Being a repeat villager, not being my white, fluffy, good for nothing, wholesome squirrel that I want on my island. He didn't he wasn't a squirrel. Kyle's kind of rude. Kinda of sus. Being the way they are and not being Marshall, putting out your fire. You don't deserve warmth. You don't deserve warmth if you're not Marshall. No, no, no. No fire for you. Be Marshall or no fire. How dare they not be Marshall? Kind of rude, honestly. Ah, change your ways. Change your identity. Be like Mystique. Change. <laughs> Be like Mystique from X-Men. Kyle said I'm stealing Marshall's place. Like, no, you're not. <laughs> anyway, the quote of the day, besties, shall be, they, they are worth nothing. Exactly. Like Kyle, worth 
nothing to me. They are worth nothing. And that's what they get. Nothing. <laughs> anyway, besties, um, what we're going to be doing today. Oops. I, oop, I can't. I did something. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, ah. What we're going to do, besties, is a lovely thing I'd like to call a bit of a righty raid. And we're actually going to go send some love, hype, and positivity to my good friend, Soros, who is playing The Sims 4. They're playing a legacy challenge. They're currently on Gen 3, episode 23. And if you're not familiarized with Soros, he is a talented content creator. Because content creator on twitch she makes custom content it's what she does she has a, a variety of things she's very wholesome very kind very just wonderful moments of cool person that you and i know will have a fun time over there but thank you all for hanging out with me on old man's journey it definitely was a journey for sure <laughs> definitely a big big journey we are going to be playing a new game in the new year, I believe so, after Old Man's Journey since we finished it today, um, starting next year. Um, but I'm really excited for the new games next year that we'll be playing. But tomorrow, we are going to be playing the A to Z Baby Challenge, so make sure you bring your baby names to the stream tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central Time. Uh, I believe we're going to be very close to the end of Gen 2 of our challenge, so hopefully... We can start Gen 3 next year. Yeah, thank you all for hanging out with me. Have a good evening or night wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.